guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for taking the time to come back to my channel I know I've been away for a little bit if you guys have been following me and following my journey you know things have been crazy had a baby he's a year now working leaving work finding a new job and all that stuff so um, thank you so much for coming back and watching this video my name is Charlotte I do cruelty free beauty and vegan lifestyle videos here on YouTube and fun fact this March makes five years that I'm vegan so I think that's really really cool but anywho um, I wanted to show you guys this uh, brand that I found they're called alter ego this is the temptress palette I'll, I'll catch you guys up to um, later in the video but this is a temptress palette um, I actually have been trying this out for a while I always like to try to keep things in their own packaging before I throw it out um, throw the packaging out but this is actually a dupe um, palette. I think this company is going to do a bunch of dupes. Uh, this is for anybody that doesn't have the cash flow to to be purchasing these palettes over and over. I know it gets very expensive for myself, especially um, trying to review things for you guys. So this is a really cool option the company like i said is called alter ego um offers dupes of high-end eyeshadow palettes this is their newest palette this is a super new company as well they are cruelty free these palettes will go for 16 dollars each if you guys can see i've actually been putting in some work on this um palette and it doesn't even really look like, like i put in a dent so that's the cool thing they like i said cruelty free and they're also paraben free i have my little checklist here so i don't forget and i do have a coupon code that i could leave across the screen they just gave me an updated one i think it's Cherelle 15 but i will leave it across the screen for you guys as well um i'm really excited for this I showed it off on Instagram if you guys follow on Instagram like I said then they also sent over two brushes to me this one would be more of a highlighting brush like if I was doing some highlight here Ooh, you see my highlight um, I'll leave everything that I used on my face down below but then they also sent over this fluffy brush so I'm gonna do my eyes I will talk to you guys while I'm doing them and hopefully you like it but they sent over this cute little card i love handwritten things team alter ego i'm really excited i want to say i found them on instagram did they find me on instagram i can't even remember but i know i just like this you guys know i also did a couple dupe videos in the past on um duping anastasia beverly hills palettes i did the norvina palette i also did another one with my, my friend jess jess and i had a video um doing like a duping video as well so i think this is actually really cool they did the hard footwork for you to get a duped palette from anastasia um and this is the, a dupe palette for the sultry palette if you guys are i want to say her palettes are like 45 dollars each so i'm going to zoom you guys in we're going to use this palette these colors are so 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 pretty um yeah and we'll just go from there so okay so i don't have a lid primer which is weird so i'm just going to use my concealer that um, I used underneath my eyes and we'll just pat this out so I want to give you guys a little background about what's been going on you guys have been so patient thank you so much um, so about um, three weeks ago I finally left retail retail working in retail for the last time <laughs> I want to talk so loud and like be super excited about it, but Denver's taking a nap. Um, it was a really tough decision. Like I told you guys before, I went for that corporate position and just after doing all of the footwork and making sure that my household would be taken care of, Denver would be taken care of, David's okay, um, it just wasn't going to work out. Uh, we're going to go into the crease with a little bit of the color after hours and then a little bit of the color blush. I'm going to mix them together. Um, and I just made the decision to find another job and find something that was going to be a little bit better fitting for myself, my lifestyle, David, his lifestyle. Like I said, we're going to start um, back in the track and field circuit. So working retail and being a manager and them now approving certain days off and you need time to travel and all that stuff just wasn't gonna be conducive to what's going on in our immediate future so um, I actually took a job working with my sister and I'm really excited about it and yeah so I've been away for so long because with 
something that is super important like that and very um, stressful, <laughs> I couldn't deal with all of it at the same time. So during this time away, Denver didn't, Denver turned one. I had a birthday, David had a birthday, and we also went on vacation. Now I do have, see how it is? Um, the only thing about this palette, it doesn't have like that warm brown color. That's what I like to do in the crease and for like transitions. Um, so I'm just mixing those two to, to make it appear a bit warmer. So that's a bit of a trick. You guys can customize colors. Even though a palette has certain set colors, you can customize um, colors by, you know, mix and matching. But um, what was I saying? So it's been kind of like a weight lifted off, my, off of my shoulders. I've been very... Uh, when the days that I was leaving and getting ready to leave and making sure everybody knows what they're doing Even though it has nothing to do with me after I leave the company I still wanted to make sure everything was good. I had a last floor set that I had to do um, Just making sure that the girl that works under me and was training the two girls that were working under me and training under me because they were future visuals um, Knew that they were comfortable with what was going on It was just really stressful. It was a lot I, I don't really um, struggle from anxiety. This is just a clean, fluffy brush. I don't struggle from anxiety. The first time I ever had anxiety was when I was pregnant with Denver. And, uh, and that feeling just came back to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is what I should be doing. But in my heart of hearts, I know I can't stay here anymore, you know? I can't stifle my growth because... Um, other people want me to stay and help them because how is that helping me? So I just made the big girl move and you know spoke to my sister, spoke to my husband, make sure that all the people that are in my immediate life um, understand the you know the transition and all that stuff that's going on. They're supportive of it. So that made me feel really good. On a C shadow brush, we're going to do um, the color Lust. This is a brush from Beach Cosmetics, the 103 brush. And we're just going to go into Lust and pat it on the lid. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to have a new job. This job does allow a lot more freedom than my last job. I do get to work from home. Um... For, I'd probably say about 80% of my work, I work from home, and then the other 20 is just helping, you know, in the field. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to learn and grow with this company, and we'll see how, how long it lasts. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a good thing. My sister's been with them for two years. And just go back in with that brush again. Your ultra eager brush that is really simple and if this is something that you're gonna want to do for everyday looks this is a great palette to have now I feel like I want to go in the with the color seduction Ooh, maybe put that on the inner should I do seduction or should I do champagne or maybe even Ritz Ritz looks pretty Ooh, maybe Ritz Ooh, I think I'm gonna do Ritz that last color there that's called Ritz I'm gonna go on with that last color I'm gonna go back in with I'm gonna go back in with that same C brush that I use at Beach Cosmetics 103 Okay, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics 105 brush. I'm going to dip right into this color Sterling here. This is going to go on the inner corner. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild brush. This looks like just a small shader brush. I'm going to go in that lower lash line. I'm going to use the color After Hours.
So this is the finished look. I really like this palette. Now here's one thing though. This is a very cool tone palette. So if you're somebody like me that normally gravitates towards uh, gravitates more towards warmer shadows. This is something that's gonna have to bring you outside of your box. If you notice, there's no true warm brown, and that's normally what I gravitate towards. For me, I'll use like Makeup Geek Coco Bear always in the um, crease for me because it's a, more of a warm brown, and that's kind of just what I gravitate towards, what I really like to use on my eyes. I don't really have to think about it, um, but if you're somebody that likes the cool tone, this is actually a really good. Um, this is a really well structured palette especially if you like um, the Anastasia line but just can't really afford it if you already have a million palettes but want to try this out because you like the colors in here this is really a good alternative and this one you have one two three four five six seven different um, mattes if you are a matte person and every once in a while you like to dibble and dabble in the shimmers. The shimmers are very pretty, very pigmented, very creamy to go on. Um, yeah, but for me, me using this palette, just I just mixed after hours in blush to do in the crease line. It still was a, a it still is a little bit more cool than I normally would put on my eyes, but I'm actually kind of digging it. I'm so much of a bronzy, a gold, um, just easy color on the eyes because I have a little more limited time, a little less time to do my makeup nowadays because of Denver. Um, I just try to do things that are easy, but I really love this. If you had just a basic color that you wanted to use, like for me, I feel like an everyday would be, I would gravitate towards the color Lust and Seduction or Lust and Champagne or Whisper Lust and Guilt. That's what I did. Uh, did I use those three colors the other day? I know I use Guilt. I used Guilt After Hours and Lust the other day, and it was just so pretty. So I feel like there's a lot of different combinations that you can get with this. If you just want to do the shimmer on the eye, go for it. It looks so pretty. I want to see if I can get some swatches done so I could just show you guys what it does look like. But this is the final look on the eyes. I really, really like it. I popped on some lashes from Car Beauty. I ordered my lashes off of shopmissa.com because they're a dollar. I go through them so fast. Um, these are the lashes 415 and they're nice and long. I just had to cut a bit of the outer corners off and uh, there you go. I also did this look with no liner. I'm such a liner girl and I'm very surprised I did it with that. But um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I'm going to pop up their, my code um, for you guys just so you can save a little bit. It's $16 and I think you'll get 15% off. That's the coupon code that I have. If you guys really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a couple more looks out of here, let me know as well. If not, let me know if you pick it up and if you like it. I personally like this palette. It's really good. It's small enough, uh, compact enough for travel. I like to keep my stuff in boxes until the boxes get a little bit too beat up. <laughs> and then I'll just take it out and put it in my makeup drawer. But I like this. This is Alter Ego, the Temptress palette. Really, really pretty. Really cool idea for a dupes palette. Um, yeah. So... I like it. Hopefully all is well with you guys. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. If you have not subscribed, please do. If you would like to follow me on all my socials, I should put them here for you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well-dressed and not stressed. And I'll see you there.